Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning prayer and worship. And for those who are joining us regularly, uh, welcome back. We want to welcome you back for our uh, morning worship. And for the first timers who are joining us today, we want to thank you for your time that you have this morning. Well, let me first read from the book of Psalm 107 and just three verses before we start our worship. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom He has redeemed from trouble, and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north <clears throat> and from the south. Well, let's just take this time to worship God, and then we will talk about this psalm. Oh 
who has measured the waters in the palm of his hand and knows every detail who has marked off the heavens with outstretched arms the great I am Lord and who has measured the waters in the palm of his hand and knows every detail oh, who has marked off the heavens with outstretched arms, the great I am. Oh, oh, oh. who has measured the waters in the palm of his hand and knows every detail, you know it all, Lord, who has marked off the heavens with outstretched arms. The great I am. You are my peace. You anchor my heart. You won't let go. Your love holds me now. Jesus, I adore your joy. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for um, this time, this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you have always loved us and you're never going to give up on us. We thank you for your steadfast love that saves. And we commit to you this time as we talk about your word in this devotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, since this is a quite a long psalm, 43 verses total, you will just highlight some key passages in this psalm. And you know, this psalm bursts with an attitude of thanksgiving to God because of His steadfast love and His unfailing mercy. And this song of praise basically highlights, you know, different scenarios or pictures where God's people were in trouble and God rescuing them every time. And I believe that you and I can relate with that. First, we will see that in verses 4 and 5, the people of God were lost. They were lost in the desert. They went through famine, and God rescues them. Secondly, verses 10 to 12, they were in darkness, and they became prisoners. Then God rescues them. A third chunk of the verses, third picture, is from verse 17 to verse 18, where in, you know, they were sick, and they were near death, similar to a pandemic, and then, God's, uh, and then God rescues His people again. And the fourth and last picture we will see in this particular Psalm chapter uh, 107 is from verses 23 to 24. It's when they were in trouble in the seas and they were in danger of high waters. And then once again, God rescues them. 
And there are four different stories of troubles that we will find in this psalm. They are so different, but yet they are dis- the same at the same time because we see that God delivered them every time. In fact, a repeating verse that we will find in verses 3, verse 13, verse 19, and verse 28. You know, I actually took note of this in my Bible. And the verse says, They cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. You know, we see God's people crying out to the Lord for help, and He always delivers them every time they cry out for help. Have you ever been in trouble like the psalmist? Can you relate with the psalmist when he was crying out for help? I'm sure you've had your, all, your, your share of life difficulties or troubles or, or hardships. But how do you respond when life beats hard on you? You know, my encouragement for us is to cry out to God in our troubles and He will deliver us from our distress. You know, God will make a way when the road is blocked. And He can open doors that are locked. You know, it's kind of like a poem, right? You know, I kind of wrote that. But although this psalm lists the many ways that God responded to their needs and delivered them from their enemies, it also targets or focuses in on the truth of God's steadfast love. And that's why the psalmist started in verse 1 by encouraging the readers to give thanks. In fact, I encourage you this morning, give thanks to the Lord because He is good and His steadfast love endures forever. Yes, merong forever. It exists. You know, man's love may not be consistent, but when you talk about God's love, it's always consistent, always there, always enduring. You know, other translations talks about uh, His mercies enduring forever. In fact, in Hebrew, it is known as hesed. It is what you know as the covenantal and loyal love. It is a kind of love that is uh, always there, the kind of love that you cannot shake off. Uh, it is the forever kind of love. There's no beginning and there's no ending to this kind of love. You know, something that is so stubborn. You know, I remember the song back in the 80s uh, entitled, It's the Stubborn Love. The stubborn love that is always there, always pursuing us, always uh, there for us. And in this beautiful psalm, you know, Israel realized that the goodness of God was not dependent on them. It was not dependent on their part of obeying God, but on the sole nature of God's everlasting faithfulness, His eternal grace, His loving kindness, which is never ending. They understood that God hears every cry of their heart and that He alone responds to their pleas. And He rescues them through their troubles and trials. You know, today, if you are in trouble, whether you feel lost or maybe you're in lack, maybe financially you're in lack, maybe business is down, maybe you're feeling um, you're in darkness, or maybe you have some sort of depression, or maybe you're in bondage to sin, or maybe bondage to debt. You might be sick right now, or maybe you're in a critical condition. You may have trouble in your marriage or family. I want you to realize that you can always cry out to God every time. Cry out to God today, and He wants to show you His steadfast love and mercy. My encouragement for you is that you are not alone, and you are not on your own. God is with you. God's presence will be there sustaining you. And I want to tell you this this morning, lift up your eyes and see the Lord as your helper. And you know, when God delivers you, my encouragement also is that you can declare His goodness to others. That's why in verse 2, we see that the psalmist said, let the, uh, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom He has redeemed from trouble. Another repeating uh, statement that is found in verses 8, 15, 21, and 31 says this, um, Let them thank the Lord for His steadfast love, for His wondrous works to the children of man. Four times in that verse, it was repeated, you know, after each uh, picture 
were in the children of Israel were crying out to God. And every time they were in trouble or in distress, they would cry out to God and God would always deliver them. And they would declare, let them thank the Lord for His steadfast love. Declare to your mouth that God is good. How many of you would agree with me today that God is good? In fact, can you say that with me? God is good. That's why the psalmist is saying, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And this psalm is not just a reminder of God's faithfulness in the past, but a declaration that God is very present. You know, He's our present help in our troubles right now. And we are encouraged to give thanks in all circumstances. You know, when you go through life's difficult moments, and I believe that there are plenty of that, you know who you're going to call and cry out to. Call to God, cry out to Him. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, cry out to God. You know, go to God. Do not run away from Him nor blame Him from your troubles. He's on your side and He's the one who can help you. And He's more than willing to deliver you. And this is not just based on your goodness or whether you deserve it or not, or whether you prayed or read your Bible today or whether you listen to the MWP. It is solely based on the mercy and the steadfast love of God for you and for me. And the last verse in uh, verse 43 says this, Whoever is wise, let him attend to, those thi to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. My encouragement for us this morning is, let us be wise. Let's consider these things. Think about it all the time. I encourage you to meditate on this psalm today and be encouraged and be blessed. In fact, I want you to, once again, uh, focus on the Lord right now and just have a grateful heart, even as you go back, to spend a little bit more time to the Lord for worship. Let's just worship the Lord right, right now once again. And thank God for a steadfast and unfailing love. Who has measured the waters in the palm of his hand and knows every detail And who has marked off the heavens with outstretched arms? The great I am. Who has measured the waters in the palm of his hand and knows every detail? Who has marked of the heavens with outstretched arms? The great I am. There is none like you, Lord, who has measured the waters in the palm of his hand and knows every detail. marked of the heavens with outstretched arms the great I am you are my peace you anchor my heart you won't let go your love holds me now Jesus Jesus, I adore 
Your joy comes through, your grace it surrounds. I will not fear, my strength is your love. Jesus, I adore. Oh, Jesus. Lord, we are so grateful and we thank you for who you are. We praise your name today. We once again declare that we are your people whom you've redeemed. You've delivered us and we declare your goodness to all of us and help us to also declare your goodness to others. May the testimony of our mouth bring encouragement and blessing to many. And Lord, even for those who are listening, uh, today or this morning or whenever they're listening, I pray God that you deliver them today, either in deep trouble, if they're in darkness, if they're in chains, if they have problems with mental health, if they have problems with sickness or with finances. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would deliver them even right now. Lord, be the source of help for them. You are the rock on which we stand. And I thank you that you are the one who can answer us Lord, we cry to you in our distress, and may you deliver us today. And I pray, God, that you would be our comfort, our help. Bless everyone today with your manifest presence and with your unfailing love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, once again, thank you so much for uh, joining us in our morning worship and prayer. And uh, just before we end, let me just uh, pray for you and just bless you by giving you the final benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord turn His face toward you and grant you peace. May the love of our Heavenly Father and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. See you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.